future time can I inject the mold or will I not be able to fill the whole mold? Tonight I'm going to find out. Welcome to another episode. I decided I wanted to keep uh, the episodes a little bit shorter. I'd love to get feedback from you. You know, put some comments down below. Let me know what you like and don't like so I can change the episodes and make them better. So for this one, I'm going to show you just uh, the, uh, the first attempt at injection molding. We'll see how it goes. And then if I have to make any changes, I'll do that in future episodes. So let's head to the workshop and see what happens. So welcome to my workshop. You can see my uh, TAG uh, CNC mill here. And I have my two injection molding machines. I apologize for the light. I'm a little bit cramped at the moment and need to move things around. This is the machine we're going to be using. It's made by Traven. It's a company in the uh, UK. And this machine can handle molds up to three inches tall. And they say four inches wide. I'm going to be trying to use a mold that's wider than that, and we'll see how it works. Over here, we have my trust. Oops, I'm getting caught in the cords. I have to go this way. So over here, we have my trusty machine that I use for smaller parts. I'll do another episode on this machine in the future. What, so what I'm going to do now is I want to set up uh, an a, uh, air vent on here for exhaust. When this uh, heats up and starts melting the plastic, it uh, creates uh, off-gassing, which is a pretty obnoxious smell from uh, polystyrene. So I like to vent this to the outside so that I don't inhale any of the, uh, the fumes myself. I'm going to put the mold in here, as I say, get the, uh, the vent hooked up, and then we'll see how the mold works. All right, it's uh, a little noisy in here uh, because I have an exhaust fan to uh, pull the, the fumes out. The exhaust fan I'm using is a dust collector, which is perfect for my laser cutter, but it's overkill for the injection molding machine. I really should get a quieter uh, fan for this don't have one at the moment so hopefully the audio will turn out if it doesn't turn out I'll have to do a voiceover so I've got this adjusted to about 25 psi right now I've got plastic loaded in and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, give it a try so I'll uh, inject some plastic this uh, you can't see it I'll have to move it let it sit for a little, little while and I'm gonna adjust the camera here All right, so I'll open it up and pull the mold out and chances are it's going to be a very short shot as you can see it just uh, filled uh, the runners. Okay, so I'm now up to about 110 psi. And we're getting close to the limits of my machine. Okay, I don't know if you saw, but uh, some uh, smoke came out of there. That's good. That means the air vents are working. Okay. And it's now getting hard to get apart, so I need to pull out a uh, screwdriver. And that's actually a good sign. Oh, almost there. So it's uh, filled everything here, but not quite there. So I'm getting really close. That's exciting. I'm not worried about destroying this one because uh, this is not quite a full fill. But you can see that uh, You can see that's actually not too bad. I mean, I've got these uh, details are really beautiful. So now it's just a matter of uh, filling the mold. And I'm almost there. Didn't quite fill there and didn't quite fill there, but it's getting really close. OK. 
turn up just a little bit. Add some more plastic. And let's uh, try. Whoop. See how it uh, starts to come apart? That means I uh, went right past. It's really, so I'm really close to, I'm going to have to adjust the clamp and try to get a little bit more clamping force. But uh, let's, whoa, you can see what happens when uh, you have too much pressure. Well, that uh, kind of went the way I expected it to. I, I you know, wasn't completely confident I was going to be able to fill the mold with my machine. I have a few ideas though. The first thing I'm going to do is I was noticing that the clamp was actually moving a little bit. It was being pushed over. Um, I have some screws that can hold it in place, but um, they don't reach far enough. So I'm going to uh, mill or cut a piece of aluminum about the right size to fit in between the screws and the clamp to hold the clamp in place. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to post a question on the, the Autodesk forum. There are some people up there who are experts in injection molding. So I'm going to see if they can uh, provide any useful suggestions on how to make it easier to fill the mold. Uh, most of the molds I've dealt with in the past are much smaller molds, uh, very fine detail. And so I haven't been pushing the machine quite to the limits the way I am now. Finally, if that doesn't work, I do have another machine. It's a larger machine. Um, it uses hydraulics. I don't know anything about hydraulics, so I'm not sure how to get the machine working. I have a friend who I need to get over to my house. Maybe I have to take him out to pizza to uh, help get the machine running. And so if I can't get the mold working on the machine I'm going to sh you know, show you tonight, we'll try the larger machine and see if that works. See you next time.